Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at Parsix. Uh, it's a Debian distribution. It, uh, as far as I can tell, it only comes in the GNOME desktop. And let's take a quick look at Parsix. Now I noticed it on DistroWatch uh, just recently, within the last couple days, they've issued a, a distribution or a, a new version based on what appears to be Debian testing. Now they're calling it 8.5 test-3 Atticus. Uh, just released on the 23rd of January. Uh, it has, it looks like this, it is the third version of the test. So it's, it's come out, let's see, if we look at the, uh, the news, uh, 8.5 test 2 was released in, de in December. Uh, 8.5 test 1 was released in October. And so it appears that um, they're working towards the final release. Now this is the test three, I assume it's a beta version. Um, it's based on De uh, Debian testing, I believe. Now I pulled up the sources list and the Debian testing repositories are disabled. They're commented out in the, uh, in the, rep in the sources list. So you would not be pulling uh, if you if you ran an update, you would not be pulling in uh, any uh, apps or packages from the Debian testing repo. And let's see if we can take a look at the sources list. You can see that the Debian testing repos are commented out. Uh, the PAR6 official, the PAR6 continent, the PAR6 multimedia, and security, those are enabled. So that's where you would pull in your updates from. Now, I did uh, do a prior install and I uncommented these and I did an up update and then an upgrade and it didn't go well um, it actually you know it booted back up but it had some broken packages and so I'm not sure why they're listing these if they don't want you to use them but uh, nevertheless um, it appears that they have everything uh, in their repos because I, ins I had no trouble installing anything so let's take a look at some other information. Now, the download uh, comes in 32 bit, 64 bit. It's the testing version, and they do have a stable version. The last release on the stable version was September 20th. And so it's a little bit confusing because they're calling it testing version, but they're not pulling in anything from Debian testing. Uh, and so it could be that they're calling it a testing version because it's a beta. And it could be that it will become the next stable version. And so, um, it does, it looks like it only comes in the GNOME desktop. Now, when I installed it, I didn't have the option to uh, install any other desktops, number one. Number two, um, I could not create my bootable USB drive using the dd command in Linux or unet bootin in Linux. Basically what I did was the only way I could get this to boot off the USB 
is to download the testing version. I did the 64-bit and then I booted into Windows and I used Rufus 2.6 to create my bootable USB and that booted up with no problem at all. Now it is a uh, typical GNOME desktop. When I say that, um, I mean that if you, you can see that everything looks familiar from a GNOME standpoint. And if you bring up the tweak tool, you'll see that it's a typical GNOME installation. Appearance is typical. You can go to the dark theme. The GTK theme is par 65 using Fiance icons. DMZ black on the cursor and the shell theme is par 6. Now for desktop, icons on the desktop are enabled. Extensions, uh, these are the typical extensions that you get with the GNOME desktop and you can get more um, by clicking get more extensions it boots you into the uh, ice weasel to the uh, gnome extensions website and then there, there you can download uh, wh whatever it is you'd like now these are the ones that are included and in order to uh, for caffeine, for example, if you want caffeine, then you can install uh, caffeine. And let's see. So if you wanted to install caffeine, you'd be able to install it from here. And let's take a look at caffeine again. So you can just click it on, download it. As you can see, it's already popped up in the top right hand corner. So you can do that with any of the extensions in the website and pretty much configure it the way that you'd like. Uh, so let's see, you've got fonts, keyboard and mouse, power, startup applications, the top bar you can show the date, seconds, week numbers, typing, uh, I usually enable the control alt backspace to kill the X server, uh, windows, the maximize and minimize are enabled out of the box, now you've got four desktops or four workspaces and one of the things I notice and this happens quite frequently on any GNOME installation uh, it appears that when I if I change this to static and I start clicking down the number of uh, workspaces when I get down to two the system crashes so I'm not going to do that right now but it's happened on more than one GNOME install, so I'm thinking that it may be a little bit of a bug in the GNOME uh, desktop environment. Now, as far as uh, applications, if we take a look at all of the applications, you've got Solitaire, Bracero, Calendar, Cheese. Clocks, Contacts, G-Edit, FileZilla, Files, Evolution, Empathy, Dictionary, GIMP, G-Parted, Grisby, G-Thumb, I install GUVC View, HTOP is available, Ice Weasel, Inkscape, Kazam I installed, LeafPad I installed, you've got LibreOffice, then you've got uh, Liferia, which is an RSS reader, Maps, Midnight, Commander, Mines, 
network notes I, I installed OpenShot uh, packages and package package updater Polari Ramina the terminal a root actually a root terminal uh, search for files services settings simple scan I installed SM player sound juicer then these are uh, printer configuration uh, looks like sound filezilla and then time and date transmission users and groups utilities virtual box VLC XFAR DL, uh, XFARDIC and X dialog and voco screen uh, was installed out of the box now had a little trouble with the uh, voco screen I had some trouble configuring the sound um, I was getting uh, some hissing on the sound so I'm using GUVC view and I'm using Kazam to make this video so you can see in the lower left hand corner you can see Kazam or, uh, is running and <clears throat> I've got the desktop icons enabled now there are background wallpapers typical gnome wallpapers you can use your own pictures and you can use solid colors for configuration you've got online accounts privacy all of the usual configuration options the sound as I said I had a little bit of a problem with some hissing so if you guys notice any uh, problems with volume on the audio that's probably why so this is a Debian install based on Jesse um, they're calling it test but I think it's because it's a beta the testing re Debian repos are, are disabled in the sources list. This is Parsix Debian uh, distribution with a GNOME desktop. So this is my first exposure to it. Uh, and if you like GNOME and you want to give it a try, just keep in mind it is a beta. It is a test uh, install. So you want to keep that in mind and just install it uh, for observation and testing purposes so guys that is it it's parsecs i hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon take care